completely, 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 it's my opinion. Now only I am telling, I am telling which are the important concepts you should learn from this uh, management accounting from each and every chapter. But, 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 don't take only so much and don't study only so much. What you should revise going to your examination before that what you should study. That's what I am going to tell now. Okay. Don't take only this much you have to study. Not the expected questions. So, hmm, not a strategy and all full. You have to study full. But however, before going to exam, you can't study everything. So, these are the things you can go through before going to exam. But in the first revision or second revision, if at all you do third revision, you have to read everything. Okay. Look at here, look at here. First one, introduction to management accounting. From that you can expect one evolution of uh, management accounting. Yes, the table thing what we discussed. That one, scope of management accounting, functions of management accountant. Yes, uh, also in the dynamic world, that also you can uh, see and all the differences, very important. Difference between management accounting and cost accounting, difference between management accounting and financing accounting, all these things. Okay, very important. Next, coming to your ABC, uh, one bank question we discussed, if you remember, in additional question bank discussion, I feel. One bank question we discussed, that one, Hamara Apna Bank, no, I say material question. And uh, your cost distortion on question, difference between traditional and uh, this thing, and baby soft, baby gold, baby pearl, forklift question, equivalent units we found out, kg send all, that question, and yeah, and uh, any other, this customer analysis, A, B, C, D, E, for a few we get, give a discount, expedited delivery, shelf life, all those things will come, no, those kind of questions. Going to your marginal costing, basically from this all, together, together you can expect, Questions relating to break-even point and MOS. Yes, break-even point and MOS. Key limiting factor questions. In that two key limiting factors, that R basis. What if the R's are so much? What if this is so much? Where you will be trying to find out make or buy? Make or buy decision. You remember, one practical problem is there, one illustration is there, one PYP is there. Yes, that kind of question, key limiting factor question, shutdown cost question, shutdown cost question and combined break even question, combined break even point question. Always remember if they tell sales mix, if they don't tell it in percentage, then it will be majorly in the terms of sales unit ratio. If they tell it in percentage, then it will be sales amount ratio. Okay, that thing you have to remember uh, while finding out combined break even. Yes, in the standard costing, in the standard costing, material and labor mixed one they will give, no, that you can expect, or variable and fixed overhead mixed question that you can expect, but standard costing it's better to go through everything once. Okay, because I mean, standard costing, yeah, we feel it's difficult or it's lengthy. I mean, I don't think so now also it's that difficult. We have discussed all the formula. Yes. You remember the formula and all. Okay. Don't buy her tick. Don't buy her tick. What logic we have done. Those so much only you also do. Uh, no worries. So while revising standard costing won't take much time. While revising it won't take much time. Now if at all anyone plan to skip and all. Please, please, please don't skip standard costing. Please don't skip standard costing. Try to learn it. Sit one day, do it, that's fine. You give enough time, 10 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours, 20 hours, I don't know how many hours we took. Around 15, 20 hours, right? Anyhow, you guys will watch it in 2x. You guys got that uh, God gift. Uh, yes, watching in 2x. Uh, 
So whatever it is, watch it, whatever it is, but make sure you understand the concept and do the standard costing. And we have done ICA material question as well as PYPs, ICA PYPs as well as ICA made PYPs. All these things, if you see and go, more than sufficient. Okay. So do that. And in standard costing, one uh, ICA material PYP we have done. If you remember, material we found out, using material we got the uh, missing figure one. No, after that, first material, after that we found out that information for the labor, using that we found out for the fixed overhead. Three paragraph they are given. Yes, you remember? That question is important. ICA material PYP it is. ICA material PYP, in that discussion you will find it. Uh, and also ICA materials few missing figure things. So far uh, in ICMA exams that is never tested, but you never know if your guys are lucky, they might test. Because the thing is if you know how to do it, then it's very easy. Cake walk it is. Okay. So that's the thing. Forecasting budget and budgetary control, major lever uh, production and uh, purchase budgets and your master budget. Master budget, it's been a while since they ask, they might ask. Okay. So that thing, divisional performance, divisional performance measurement, concentrate more on your uh, learning curves, learning curves, and that to that kind of thing, 30 units, 60 units. If you get extra 60 units order immediately, what you will do? Then what you should do? First find out for 30, then find out for 90. Difference between 30 and 90 is what is required for 60. That formula based. Sometimes they will give logarithm, sometimes they will give direct values also. In one PYP we discussed. You don't even have to apply logarithm. Y is equal to H to the power of B is there? No, that much. They are only told how much is X to the power of B. Why all those things? But deciding how many units you should take, that is important. That is important. And sometimes they will put a bouncer also. We have already discussed, but still, they will tell two workers working on different job. Now again, if they work on the different job, there won't be any learning curve. Learning curve will be there only the same employee doing the same thing again and again and again. If it is a new employee, then learning curve won't be there. No, you have to start from the basics. That one question we have discussed, if you remember. Okay, that thing also your uh, EVA, EVA. And EVA conclusion also they might ask. So if it's positive, what is the conclusion? Our value of the firm is more than expected by our shareholders. Value of the firm is more than expected by our shareholders. And that too in EVA that they will give financial leverage. Using that, you have to find out EBIT. From that 1 minus T. You remember financial leverage is what? EBIT by EBT. EBT is nothing but EBIT minus interest. So take EBIT divided by EBIT minus interest. Interest you can compute with the given information. You have to do that. You remember that kind of question they might ask from the divisional performance management. Responsibility accounting, theory questions of the past year, UC and go ones. And also majorly they might ask what are the different centers? How is it different from the other one? Okay, like that. And decision theory, your uh, uncertainty, minimax, maximin, Laplace, Havrik, all those things are there, no? All those things might come. And also, they might ask a question on the basis of EVPI, expected value of perfect information. You remember, only one illustration was there, two practical problems was there, one PYP is there. Correct? So, your uh, illustration may, they only have given three different probabilities as per EVPI. If they don't give, if they give two alternatives or one or more, more than one alternatives, select highest of that and apply the probability, you will get EVPI. Difference between your expected value and EVPI is the value of EVPI. That is what you will be ready to pay for that perfect information max. Correct? These are the certain things. You have to work on your examination and always remember for your examination, first priority should be your material, second PYP what we discussed, third ICA material questions, fourth they will release something called as MTP, 
your institute will release something called as MTP that also you have a glance once okay solve it tense and also remember guys whatever the paper it is don't just read and go practice and go write practice and go and examination I know few people might started hating me after this me coming to your place checking whether you have written a rupees sign a unit as unit or you have written it like a phone number and all I can understand from the student point of view you should understand also you should write also it takes time but in examination while writing please 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 be careful that too in your costing paper and management accounting paper because your unit as well as rupees equally important so you should clearly mention which is rupees which is unit okay and also decimals unless and until they tell round it off to round it off then you should take two decimals two decimals hope you guys know rounding of things at least now in the beginning so you leave now at least you guys know about it yes fine with that we have completed our management accounting we'll meet you guys few of you guys might meet you guys in cost accounting not sure oh sir we are going for online now huh few i will meet in convocation vijayam no in chennai vijayam chalo bye 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 thank you so much